So here's a question, should I even tackle this one? I mean this battle royale. Most people know about this work and its plot and social commentary and its various ripoffs. But I'm not sure but I'm sure this is one of those situations where everyone knows of the movie and almost no one knows or has read the book. So I think that little technicality will help me along the way. But as a bit of a workaround, I guess I'll be talking about both the book and the movie with this sort of thing, like the Killing Joke video I did before, a year ago. So let's get into this thing. The book was written by Kushun Takumi. Takumi, again, for your pronunciations. And I hope I didn't put your name too much, sir. The plot takes place in alternate history Japan, where the country is an isolationist police state known as the Republic of Greater East Asia. Every so often, a random class of junior high school, third years, essentially middle school students, are taken by government and forced to participate in an experiment. In this, they're forced to kill one another until only one of them remains, and it's about time for the next experiment. Under the guise of a field trip, Shuya no Nanahara, for your pronunciations, and his classmates are gassed and find themselves trapped on the island, in love with no choice but participate in the experiment. After watching his best friend die in front of him, Shuya decides to protect his friend's crush, Noriko Nakagawa. Did I pronounce that one correctly? I think I did a de de decent job. Which is pretty hard to the fact she's nursing quite the bullet wound after an asshole teacher shot her in the leg. And after running with Shogo Kawada, the trio band together to survive with the mysterious plan to survive the battle and get out alive. All the while they try to stop all the fighting and band together. As one by one, all the classmates falls to one another's paranoia, as well as some grievances they have to each other. And everything becomes bleaker and bleaker with well, what helped dwindling out into non-existence. So, one thing I really want to bring up real quick is that the perspective switches every so often as we see the deaths of the various characters, all our three mainstays are otherwise busy or hiding out from the various chaos. I want to also point out that the very first time this happens, we are shown a lover's suicide between the class's top couple, which says to say is for the suffering it is to come. And oh boy, is there a lot of suffering. Basically, everyone tries their best at, at surviving, either trying to hide out, or to protect themselves, or look for others, or kill the others, or dealing with their own personal issues here and there. It allows for a peek into each of their heads, which is something to appreciate, essentially concerning the fact that most of the time, our three mainstays are hiding out, trying to avoid the conflict, and make it you know, to their plan of survival to the end of the game. And with about 50 deaths to get through before the end comes, it's a pretty ridiculous. It's pretty, it'll be pretty ridiculous for the three to constantly be present at every single death, as I'm not making it alive without you know either killing somebody or you know themselves getting killed. Now, guys, I should talk about the movie, and honestly, it's just a faster version of the book. Yes, a lot of the plot comes from the book, but there are a few minor changes. It's just. Shuya not being an orphan, and some stuff with Noriko from a year before. You know, just minor little plot background details. Overall, it's just as I stated earlier, a faster version of the book, cutting out a number of students who, you know, cutting out a number of the smaller and minor deaths, and really only focusing on the more important and our bloodier moments throughout the story. And, uh, and actioning it up a bit at various points, adding in a bit more action scenes is a pretty decent move, especially for a movie. I can't really go in depth with things like this because I think going deeper in differences between a book and a film is something that a British guy who calls himself the Dom could do a bit better than me. So with that said, I do enjoy both. But there's one thing I have to nitpick on about, it's just a minor thing, but basically most of my every girl in the is class has a gigantic crush on them. I don't know if this is my bitterness over being one of the unpopular sort in high school, from what I can remember from my time in high school, I have memory issues with that time period, or if I feel this is overhyping Shuya a bit too much, especially the fact he spends, again, most of the book hiding out and are unconscious. I don't know, this is just a minor detail and it's something that really isn't brought up too much, it can be easily ignored. Overall, both book and movie are a great time, and if you're into watching a Bunch of teenagers kill each other. It's something to look into. And between this and Danganronpa, I'm pretty sure I'm on some kind of watch list, if I wasn't already. 
So, till next time, unless the cops bust down my door.